guys, welcome back to another Fly Time Friday. Tonight I'll be tying a cone-headed Bow River Bugger, and we're starting off with a size 4 Allen fly fishing streamer hook, and a cone head, and some 6 aught white thread. I'm just going to attach that thread, and work our way to the bend of the hook here. And basically this fly is just a woolly bugger, but it has a cone head, and um, a deer hair collar around the cone head. So I'm tying this in a copper color and it's kind of like a rust brown I guess, copper, whatever you want to call it. But I'm going to start by just tying in a piece of marabou and you just want to pull the short fibers off the side of the stem so you just have the longer fibers. Sweep all those back and on a fly this size you may have to use two feathers but um, and go about you know a little longer than the hook shank and we'll tie that in and I'm gonna add a little bit more and I'll just like I said select another feather This is a ultra wire, size medium copper. And we'll just tie in a section of that off the back. And for the body I'm using this variegated chenille. It's like a copper and yellow mixture. It creates a cool little pattern to the body. So what we're gonna do is just pluck out some of those fibers and get down to the core of that material and tie that core in so you don't create any uh, material bump there. Now I'm going to add just a little bit of uh, 0 0.02 lead wire to the front and I'm just doing this so the body stays even. Go ahead and bring your thread forward and wrap that chenille body up. trimming a few fibers off the stem and creating like a little toothed edge for the thread to grab onto. We're going to tie that face up right at the head. And go ahead and wrap that back towards the tail. Once we get to the back, we're going to take that wire and secure that feather down. Go ahead and tie it off, and then work that wire up through the body. I'm going to switch to uh, gel spun thread, so I'm just going to go ahead and whip finish just the tie off and switch over to this GSP. This is, uh, let's see, size 200, which is a bit overkill, but that's what I have on hands. And we'll finish it off just by putting a whip finish right behind the head. And 
Then I'm going to use a razor blade just to trim this, but make sure you don't trim away your collar. So we're just going to trim the head down to the same height as the, as the bead. finished Bow River Bugger. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, it's kind of a cool little sculpting pattern. Uh, it's a smaller pattern for um, instead of throwing like the big articulated streamers this will work when they're uh, keying in on smaller things, fish are more picky, things like that. So uh, the deer hair just gives it like a, a profile of sculpting with like the pectoral fins going out to the side or gills. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you next week on another Fly Time Friday. Thanks for watching.